This is a Navy ship currently in a Norfolk, Virginia dry dock. This thing is freaking huge. Check out the keel. It's a monster. These are some supply ships that supply the Navy with all the crap they need. This is an aircraft carrier that carries a crew of 6,000. This is an amphibious landing vehicle. Check out the tires. The US military doesn't fuck around with its hardware. This is a dual outboard engine helicopter. Yeah, that's a quadruped walker. Let me show you how I sketch up my design for a light infantry fighting vehicle. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. I hope that you like, enjoy, and become a subscriber. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and then you hit the bell. Hit the bell again so you get the little parentheses around it. That way you'll be notified every time I have a new video. Don't forget to check out the design and making merch below. Hoodies, t-shirts, and stickers. I'm going to start out this sketch using a 10% gray marker. My horizon line is just above the wheels, and it's a relatively shallow vanishing points to the right and to the left. The concept of this vehicle is that it's electric or hybrid. Uh, Tesla tank, you read correct. Basically, the front unit is an electric power supply with like a Segway concept. Those two wheels, uh, you could tug around anything. In this case, it happens to tug around like a tank for fighting purposes. It's a modular concept, so you could tug around telecommunications equipment. You could tug around supplies or medical equipment. The sky's the limit. I'm using a Pilot Hitech C.025 gel pen here, and this allows me to come and pull out all the details that weren't visible before in the marker. This vehicle probably carries about a crew of three, maybe four. It has a side entry, and the great advantage of this is it allows the commander or the driver of the vehicle to potentially even have the door open and talk to his troops that are walking alongside of him, or have a little additional field of view. That door would swing open, uh, would even provide some cover. Uh, it's heavily armored. I realize that, you know, there's always going to be pros and cons to whatever concept you whip up, but I really like the side entry. It's also good for hauling in wounded um, and quickly getting them off the battlefield instead of having to go over the top through a hatch or something like that. The main unit that's being towed would probably have its own diesel power supply uh, that could then charge up the electric power supply uh, in the front should it ever need to so it can run uh, in stealth mode uh, most of the time when you're creeping up on the enemy uh, but then it could be used to recharge those batteries or drive uh, the rear wheels with that diesel uh, power as well giving you great versatility depending upon what your mission is now you'd probably need to have some sort of a leg or a jack in the front just behind that electric power supply so that you could disconnect that power supply for service and maintenance or if you needed to drive off and go supply some other vehicle it could do that while you've got another unit um, and I think the armament here, uh, I know the military guys, they love to have a 50 millimeter mic mic uh, on the top. That's their dream with some sort of uh, autonomous uh, machine gun potentially up there as well. That's just great firepower to have to support your troops. We're going to come in now. We're going to block in everything with a marker and the lower part of the vehicles pretty much all gets blocked in with like a 20 or maybe a 30 percent gray value and then i'm going to come and i'm going to shade uh from there adding some more definition to the form but everything on the lower part of the vehicle pretty much all gets that 20 or 30 percent gray darker areas here i'm coming in with probably 40 or 50 percent to start to pull out some of the form so again form change uh, is achieved through value change and as I change the values here you'll start to see the form it'll start to pop 
and the dark areas start to get really dark. I don't put a lot of value in the tires because I don't want them to dominate things too much. That darker tire in the back just to help push things backwards. The wheels, uh, the windows, I'm sorry, get like maybe uh, an 80 or a 90 percent uh, gray in the front and then a little lighter on the side. I put in a little bit of detail on the tires just so you can see the contour of them. Now I come back in here just in this front tire with a Sharpie, so pretty heavy. The other ones I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to outline everything with a 0.05 gel uh, high tech C just to kind of darken the outlines, make things kind of punch. So where you get the most amount of contrast are these dark lines. Those are the areas where your eye is going to focus. I tend to do that in uh, surfaces that overlap other surfaces that are in front of other surfaces to show that depth uh, of how one thing is on top of another. Again, in darker areas, I put in a little more details. I barely put in anything for the back wheels uh, so that you can kind of focus. So I'm also adding that built-in sort of uh, depth perception with things in the foreground being a little darker. And as they go back, they get a little bit lighter to sort of enhance that effect here I'm just coming in at the end I uh, put in some graphics you guys know I love graphics on my stuff I'm gonna put in a number eight and this is a homage to uh, those warships that we saw I put in a number eight battleship style tank number here and we're getting to the end just pulling out all the little details making this thing kind of pop and I'm going to add a little bit of background, again, just for scale, just to make the vehicle sort of pop off the page a little bit. Uh, objects and the way, way back are going to be a little bit lighter and it's just adding a little bit more depth and a little bit more interest to the piece. It's not like Elon Musk doesn't have enough going on these days. Launching spaceships, digging tunnels, building flamethrowers, figuring out Tesla's stuff dissing on all the haters which I love when he does that this concept makes a lot of sense to me you can haul around all kinds of stuff it doesn't have to be a military application lots of applications going on here if you happen to watch the video hope you loved it you need any design assistance you let me know take it easy don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can do that by clicking on the icon in the bottom right of the video or below the video. Give it a thumbs up and follow the channel there as well. If you want to know about upcoming design content and projects that I'm working on, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and my favorite Google Plus links below. Also, don't forget to check out all the design and making gear below. Rock on. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.